Uh, let us have a look what we have got. Have a look at the, the X. But first step, you check what it is. It's, uh, not surprisingly, it's a tensor. And uh, if it's a tensor, or some multidimensional array, the first just, uh, thing we would like to know is its shape. Well, that is according to our expectation. There are 32 samples. Each of the sample, there is one channel because um, those images are grid level images. There is uh, no RG and B, it's only a brightness of each pixel. And there are 28 by 28 pixels in each of the image. Uh, since the data are images, so it's uh, normally a good idea to have a look of the images. Um, to make sure that we have loaded the data correctly and uh, get some rough idea about uh, um, what the kind of image it, uh, they are. So I uh, just copy and paste the visualization code here. It's not difficult, um, it's not complicated, and uh, you will get it from um, the, the notebook. A little bit of explanation, and uh, this is a visualization library, and uh, this line starting with um, a percentage sample. Um, this is not part of Python language, but uh, a function provided by the notebook. That means um, for the visualization object, do not um, display the object as a separate window, but uh, um, put every graphical object in the um, browser table. So to have uh, everything in the single um, notebook, which is convenient. And uh, this show um, function, you can just uh, take it um, as is now. Uh, it uh, allows you to display an uh, image in the tensor format uh, on screen. Let's run this cell. Good. And let's show. Um, the first image in our X. Wrong. Oh, it looks like an image, isn't it? Uh, notice those colors are pseudo colors. It's not real because we have only one channel in the image. Those colors are given it to the, M the pixels uh, using a mechanism called um, color map. Uh, actually, you just take the HS uh, brightness. I can actually uh, adjust the visualization code a little bit to specify that the map is green. Let's see if this works more. Yes, it is more according to our expectation. Mm, maybe we have a look at the whites as well. Why are supposed to contain um, the labels for the images? Let's have a look. Okay, mm, not surprised. Um, not surprising. Two is corresponding to two, and the second one is the six. Uh, so maybe have a look at the second sample. Yeah. Okay. Um, according to our very Mm. Simple investigation, the data are loaded correctly. And uh, maybe we would also want to have a look at the numerical values in the data as well. For the numerical values of y, there is not much surprise, uh, surprises. It's um, just an uh, uh, integer number indicating the label. But what about x? So <clears throat> since the first Samples first channel. Um, we uh, let's have a look at the first symbol, and uh, because the symbol has only one channel, we can take a look at the first channel as well. Let's print it. Actually, you do not need to print a variable, a single variable, if you want to have a look at the sample in the notebook. You can just type the variable name, and uh, it will display the content uh, in the output uh, box. So this would be a 28 by 28 matrix. Um, could it be a little bit uh, um, cluttered to, to view on the screen. 
uh, we may want to have a look at uh, uh, the limited number of columns, maybe only the central area, right? So let's see, we'd like it to start from the 10th row um, until the 20th, that means row um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, until 19, not including the 20. Uh, in this way, you have 10 rows uh, altogether to show, and each of the 10 rows, let's display, uh, for example, the 10 to 20th uh, columns. And uh, also know that for a multi-dimensional array, you can um, index it using separate um, uh, squared bracket. You can also put all the index in one bracket, separated by uh, commas. So I will adopt the second way. This looks better. Have a look. Hmm. Um, the values are not surprising. Uh, so, uh, in most of the values, uh, background which is zero means the darkest uh, possible um, uh, pixels, uh, black, and there are some, well, uh, white pixels as well. 